The story begins with the fact that the main character is walking along the corridor of an educational institution. He looks great, so all students on the way definitely pay attention to him. The boy dazzles so much that some of the girls take pictures of him, but none of them even dare to start a conversation. The guy exudes an aura of gigachad. Meanwhile, in the classroom where the young man is going, students are arguing over who will be their math teacher this academic year. The previous teacher did not like the guys very much, so many hope for a replacement. Finally reaching the audience, our main character confidently opens the doors. It is necessary to go to his place already under the enthusiastic ooze of classmates. The guy's name is Subin, and it looks like it's not the first time he's been calling in the local caves, but it looks like the guy doesn't care at all. The situation with the corridor repeats itself, and some of the girls use their devices to capture all the advantages of the guy, but some of the students do not approve of such actions. Local bad guys played the same bad games with Otaku, but the appearance of Subin helps the kid out of a difficult situation. It becomes clear that the main bad guy was waiting for the arrival of the main character. The young man ignores the words of the bully, so he switches to fantasies about the upcoming celebration with drinks and juicy melons, but the young man is not interested in this, so he politely refuses the invitation. The blonde begins to arise, comparing the behavior of the main character with the behavior of a child, but the guy is a real sigma, so instead of parties and entertainment, he continues to study hard. The bad guy continues to play his game, saying that he can earn a lot of money even without such an unnecessary thing. Subin objects, reminding that it is very bad to devalue someone else's work. And he also adds that in any case, he is not interested in it. Offering the bully to play the squid game better instead, the blonde's friends checked out the joke, but he seemed dissatisfied with such a rebuff. The bell rang, so all the students began to take their seats. A young girl in a classic suit came into the classroom. It was not easy to walk in high heels, but the lady confidently walked to the department. Some of the students asked not to push them too hard because the morning had just begun. But an experienced teacher accurately noticed that without knowledge of mathematics, the number of options for admission would greatly decrease. The topic of the lesson was hyperbolic functions, but the bad guy objected, sharing that he considers higher education a waste of time and full-time study is not particularly effective because today there are many options for homeschooling. There could be an advertising integration related to the courses, but this does not apply to the lesson, so the professor suggested focusing on the current topic. The bully's friends started to fizzle again, because none of them had any idea that he was studying. But the guy continued to get angry. The students were very divided in opinions, so the whole audience was filled with arguments and protests. The teacher was very confused, so she just continued to watch in silence until Arsubin unexpectedly intervened in the situation, saying that the best solution would be to shut up and continue the lesson. Having said that in modern society, almost no one believes that university is the most important stage in life. Everyone was a little upset after such a statement, but that wasn't all the guy wanted to say. The main character also added that no school allows its students to sit on their phones all the time. The blonde wanted to object, but the guy clarified that these words do not apply to those who enjoy watching big games during lessons. Having put the bad guy behind his belt, the young man helped the teacher a lot. She did not lose the opportunity, decided to take the situation in the classroom under her control. The girl said that regardless of her views, she should continue to teach students. The teacher drew attention to Subin, noting that for a young boy he behaves quite mature, noting that she had never paid attention to it before. Having completed his business, the teacher left the classroom and walked down the corridor. Through the window she saw how the physical teacher was pushing Subin, allowing himself clearly more than it would be worth. Deciding to intervene, Lee Sovan takes the physical education teacher aside to find out the situation, when suddenly it turned out that the guy left through the back door. Hearing this, the professor decided to additionally scold Kang Subin. However, in fact, the girl wanted to help the guy out of trouble by asking him to be more careful, because their physical teacher is a real tank, so that everything looks plausible. The teacher grabbed Subin by the ear and then led him into the building. As a good teacher, Lee Sovan decided to find out the reason for the act, Offering the guy to drink a jar of Sprite, she explained that such minor offenses seem insignificant, but in a compartment they can affect admission to the HSE. But the guy explained that he did not plan to go to university, which greatly shocked his teacher, because recently his grades in mathematics have grown a lot. In order for Subin not to drop out of school, the girl confidently said that she would not leave it so easy. She assured that she would root for him. This greatly impressed the guy, but he was pleased. The professor reasoned that even though the main character looks great and his grades have become much better, he still remains the same rebel, but immediately discarded these thoughts, because she remembered that he was her student. Despite what happened, the studies continued further, 
and the main character devoted all his free time to studying mathematics, because in fact it was important for the guy not only to enroll in a good university. Subin realized long ago that he was attracted to large and ripe pumpkins, but not all pumpkins interested the young man. There was one special pair, which motivated him to study harder. However, it quickly became obvious that the hunt for vegetables was opened not only by a guy, but also by a bad guy with his brothers. They deliberately played a joke on Lee Sovan in the corridor to add even more problems to her. However, Subin is not asleep and saw everything that happened. Then he ran over the Joker's mountain, like a rogue detective ladder bringing the villain to the surface. But the guy decided to pay off by telling about the rumors that go around their classroom teacher. The guy wanted to start a fight, but the blonde intervened in time, noting that recently the main character had somehow become kinder, deciding that he had found an opportunity to control the guy. He directly told about his suspicions. The young man reacted sharply to the words of the bad guy, but as it turned out, he was joking. But the main character was not going to stand on ceremony and continue to go where he was going. But the blonde thought that he was an immortal ban, so he decided to tease the guy by asking if he had already harvested. But Subin did not like this behavior very much, so he wanted to teach the impudent man a lesson. Suddenly, Lee Sovan appeared in the corridor, that she sensed something was wrong. She ran up to the guys, preparing to separate them, but the guy effectively got out, saying that they comprehend a special hit of Hiten Mitsurugi Ryu in the version without a sword. The girl, albeit not willingly, but believed in such an explanation. And when she saw a math textbook in the hands of a guy, she was very glad that he changed his mind about the university. The guy was very embarrassed, so he ran where his eyes were looking, deciding that he would ask the next question directly at the lesson itself. The bad guys were completely upset because of this. Lee Sovan asked the trio of hooligans if they were going to go to class, but the guys just silently left in the same direction as Subin. But his performance was not left without an audience. The girls standing next to him filmed his blow. While the fans were coming up with a name for this action, one of Subin's classmates approached them, deleting the photo and warning that if they continued to do something like this, they would regret it very much. But she definitely didn't mind watching through the inner shutters for a guy who was preparing for the next lesson. She couldn't understand how he could be so cool just sitting in one place. Then we see how something strange happens in the first aid post. The nurse was going to ride a roller coaster, but the park employee offered her to use another attraction. But the girl was true to her desires. Teacher Yanho, who was in charge of the park, did not mind that the lady showed perseverance, but he was worried that some kind of force majeure might happen, and so it happened. Without letting the physical teacher enjoy the entertainment, Lee Sovan knocked on the door. She urgently needed a shift, because that incident in the corridor should not have interfered with the educational process. Then the nurse rummaged in the drawer and gave a new pair. The girl decided not to waste a second, so she went to change the damaged clothes immediately on the spot. The nurse was not sure that this was the best place, but the math teacher did not see any reason to worry. While the girl was solving her problem, the physical education teacher really wanted to eat. He looked at the nut with hungry eyes, imagining how he would open it. Lee Sovan quickly finished and said goodbye to the nurse, hurrying to her students for a lesson, and the medical worker returned the desire to surf on the waves. Only this time the board was not ready yet, and it came to her to abandon her idea. Teacher Yanho complained about poor sleep lately, so he asked to give him some sleeping pills. But there are usually no such pills in the medical unit. So the nurse gave them out from a personal pharmacy. But the physical teacher pursued not only this goal. The action is transferred back to the office, where a secret admirer of Subin was looking at his photo until she heard how the blonde and his friends were discussing the main character and his attitude to the math teacher. They were worried about where he went after each lesson. They assumed that the guy already likes girls older than him because the whole school was literally following him around. As if he was a popular idol, the guys continued to disperse this topic. The blonde tried to stop them because such conversations could cause a conflict with Sobin, but his friends definitely did not want to give up their thoughts. Then the same classmate stood up for Subin. She intervened in the conversation because she wanted to find out what they were talking about, but she did not like the light in which they exposed the guy. So she decided to teach the blonde a little lesson. At that time, the math teacher was carrying heavy boxes in the corridor, but she was unlucky enough to twist her leg, and it would seem that the fall was inevitable, as teacher Yanho helped her out. The physical teacher insisted on his help, so Lee Sovan had no choice but to agree. He also invited her to a party in the evening, to which even the deputy director would come. The girl had to agree again. The entire teaching staff gathered in a relatively small room. It was a steak bar. And according to tradition, due to the fact that the math teacher was the youngest, she always fried someone else's meat. She was also asked to pour a drink, but this time the physical education teacher came to the rescue again, 
offering to pour another teacher further so that Lee Sovan could at least have a little rest. Other professors did not like such an initiative, because women usually do this, but teacher Yanho reminded that it was too old-fashioned to think like this in the 21st century. However, the deputy director continued to mumble to himself, not wanting to agree with the position of the younger generation. The same opinion was held by Lee Sovan. The girl admitted that she was really tired, then the physical teacher offered to make her a special cocktail for a change. He mixed several drinks and added a secret ingredient to help the girl relax. Kung Sobin continued to study, but his study of a new topic was postponed due to the interest of his fan. The girl was interested in why the main character was so serious, and he, in turn, explained that he was faced with a difficult task. She repeated the question, but more precisely, she was interested in why a guy like Songbin continues to study hard. The guy asked again, but the girl continued her thoughts, saying that the young man would like the role of an idol or a presenter on a popular TV channel. The girl was sure that he looked great as a model, but the guy was not interested, because he promised his teacher that he would take up his mind and go to university. Then he asked what the girl herself had forgotten at school, although there were no teachers anymore and it was possible, like other idlers, to go home. But the girl began to be indignant, barely restraining herself from laying out the real reason. The guy got up from his desk, threw on his backpack and walked towards the exit, when a fan called out to him that she had been trying to come up with some reason all this time. When she asked where he went, the guy replied that he had lost his mindset to study. The main character also added that the teacher is not around, so there is no one to check the solutions, which means that no progress can be expected. So he said goodbye and went home. Meanwhile, thanks to the wonderful cocktail, Lee Savon relaxed and fell asleep. The deputy director wanted to continue having fun, so he tried to wake up the young girl, but the physical teacher prevented him, saying that he would call the girl a taxi. The persistence of the teacher Yakno quickly discouraged the management from waking up the math teacher. He assured everyone that he would take care of the girl himself. The rest did not need to worry about anything. At the same time, Sobin was walking home after school, and the same classmate was following him. The guy tried to throw her off the tail, but the girl found a reason. She wanted to go to karaoke. She also offered the main character to keep her company, but the young man's thoughts were filled only with studies, so he immediately refused without hesitation, because they are in the senior class and it's time to think about their future. Sobin was looking where he could cross the road when he suddenly noticed a physical teacher holding Lee Sovan in his arms, however, suspecting something was wrong. The boy immediately called out to the cunning Yanho, but he began to drive the students home in every possible way. The guy insisted on making sure the girl was safe, but the physical teacher continued to say that he would take care of everything himself, and in general, he helped out Lee Sovan, because the director could see that she had drunk too many drinks. Then the guy threatened that he would tell everyone about the intentions of the physical teacher. He decided to continue to be impertinent to the main character. But he did not watch all the episodes of My Hero Academy in vain. So the Detroit blow to the liver, and the physical teacher could not continue his atrocities. Subin asked his friend to follow the physical teacher, so that he would not throw anything out while he took care of the math teacher. The girl was fast asleep, so there was simply no way to find out the address. A great solution was to rent a hotel room, even if it hit the guy's pocket, he was ready to do it to help his sensei out of such a difficult situation. More importantly, the manager misunderstood the situation, so she asked the couple not to throw out anything for which she could then fly. The guy wanted to start making excuses, but the employee said she didn't care. When he got to the room, the guy laid the sleeping professor on the sofa so that she could calmly relax and gain strength, while being indignant about the words of the girl at the reception. The guy wanted to move away, but the suffocating triangle involving two weights prevented his plans. He had no choice but to stay in this position until morning. In the morning, Lee Savan woke up before the guy, so she couldn't understand anything. Seeing Sobin, a variety of thoughts crept into her head, but her behavior instilled feelings in the young man himself. The main character did not miss the opportunity to tease the teacher, but he was still ready to answer her questions. The guy asked not to rush to conclusions and give him the opportunity to explain himself. Lee Sovan generally understood what was going on, but she got even more shocked after she heard the story about last night. The guy told in detail about what he saw with his own eyes. About the behavior of the physical instructor Yanho, what he wanted to pull off as well as the condition in which the girl was at that time. He also mentioned that using Getsuga Tensho to somehow influence the situation. Since the teacher's address was not known to the guy, he had to do what he did. The puzzles in the girl's head formed, and she managed to understand what happened before she fell asleep at the party. The guy began to boast that he was a knight on a white horse, that he had saved the princess from the dragon. But at the same moment, he received it. The girl apologized for having misunderstood the situation and put the guy in an awkward position. 
However, the guy continued to make fun of the math teacher that every time she succumbed to such a provocation, a little later they went to the bus stop, and Lee Sovan assured that there was no need to worry about her. The main character, like a real man, continued to wait with the teacher, saying that he still could not be sure of Lee Sovan's safety, especially after yesterday's incident. The girl thanked the young man for sleeping with her, but the guy was enterprising, so he asked if there was any reward for him. The girl was surprised, but asked what the guy would like. Thinking about the reward, only one option seemed worthy to the guy. Lee Sovan got angry at the guy kindly and grabbed him by the cheek, but almost immediately after that, the bus pulled up, so the guy couldn't even fight for what he wanted. But before the transport started, the girl added that she would fulfill his request and kiss the young man if he got 100 points on the next test. The guy asked if it was true, but to his surprise, the girl confirmed her words. The next morning, the guy was in a wonderful mood. Even though the fear he faced due to worries about the results was the biggest in his life, he confidently decided that he would ignore all the moments that would not be related to studying. The first such moment overtook him at the entrance to the audience, the trio led by the blonde. This time the bad guy only told Subin the news that did not give everyone rest. The main character did not immediately understand the meaning of his words. The young man noticed that the atmosphere in the classroom was strange, but he could not understand what had happened. The fan who followed him clarified the situation a little. The main character was a gentleman, so he apologized for last night as well as for leaving the girl in the evening. But at that moment, she was worried about another topic so that Subin could finally understand the situation. She held out the phone with the news that she had scattered on the internet. That evening, the guy's kickboxing moment was captured, and the physical teacher left a statement that he was beaten by a student, even if it hit the teacher's pride. But he really wanted to spoil the life of the main character. Soon the guy was taken away by the police to testify. The guy understood that the advantage was on the side of the physical teacher, since there was video evidence of his act, but the guy continued to maintain his composure. Meanwhile, a disciplinary hearing was held at the school on the fact of a fight between a teacher and a student. Despite all the efforts of Lee Sovan, the guy was still expelled from high school. The guy remained calm, because he knew that he acted like a real gigachad, but the teacher still continued to blame herself for uselessness. The guy comforted the girl, saying that this situation would not prevent him from going to study further, as he promised. Another blow for Lee Sovan was that no one except Sobin listened to her as attentively. The girl recalled how she graduated classes, how her career began in general, but realized that the feelings of teaching had become vague. Suddenly, the professor noticed that one of the students was sitting on a tablet during class, deciding to scold her. Lee Sovan picked up the student's tablet, but she explained that she did not like studying under the guidance of a girl, and the lectures she watches in class really help her. Looking at the tablet screen, the math teacher saw how the recently expelled Subin was the teacher who explained the topic. She was greatly surprised. She could not even imagine what happened, why he began to teach others. Further events began after a small time skip and tell about how the blonde helped the teacher Yujan to shoot instructional videos. But as it turned out, in addition to the desire to increase scores, the guy pursued his other goals. The bad guy wanted to get a reward for his help, and the teacher was not against giving it, before offering to go to a special room for particularly distinguished students. The blonde liked watermelons. His hands were big enough to fit two of them at the same time, but the kid believed in his strength, so he wanted to enjoy an orange as well. A lot of juice stood out from the orange, as if it had been rolled on the table for a long time before, but it was possible to understand the real situation only by removing the peel from it, which the bully just decided to do. The guy loved freshly squeezed juice, so he began to drink actively. The guy planned to continue enjoying the main dish, but the main character dressed up in a stylish suit entered the audience. The blonde man's name was Daejun, but the author bothered to mention it only after a few chapters. The young man reminded that they had to shoot a special lecture, so the bad guy ran to set up the devices. Teacher Yujan hurried away from the audience, and Subin reminded that Daejun should concentrate on his work, and the main character also told the bully not to let the academy know about it. Subin started the live broadcast while at the reception Lee Sovan was trying to find out where she could talk to him, when Taijun bumped into her that he wanted to go out to air out. They recognized each other. The math teacher asked if Subin was here, but Taijun asked why she was looking for him at all. He reminded her that she was no longer their teacher, and then asked again what Lee Sovan was doing here. The bad guy reminded that Subin was expelled precisely because of the math teacher, but the girl admitted that she came for the same reason. But the blonde added that her remorse looked strange, because she came after a long time, exactly at the moment when the main character became popular. However, Subin himself got into the altercation. He told Taejun to stop behaving like that, and then approached Lee Savan and admitted that he was glad to see her and did not mind talking over a cup of tea at all. 
Lee Sovan was surprised that recently the guy was only a student, and now he has become such a handsome gentleman. Subin was handsome even during high school, but now he has become like some extremely popular star. The guy broke the silence and asked why his former math teacher came to him. The girl said that many of her students liked the lectures of the main character, but the guy was not very friendly. She also apologized for the incident, but the young man calmed her down and said that it was all in the past, but the girl insisted that she was really sorry. Then the guy decided to take the bull by the horns, invited Lee Sovan on a date. The main character said that she could refuse, but reminded him how sad he was because of the exception. Then the girl agreed. It could not be said that she was against it before, but such a request definitely caught her by surprise. As soon as the hero got consent, his overwhelming aura disappeared. He returned to his standard behavior. The guy was very glad that his beloved teacher took it seriously and agreed. They agreed to meet on the same day at 7 p.m. The girl took responsibility and said she would be waiting for the guy at the station at that time. She was clearly embarrassed by what was happening, but on the other hand, she was interested. The girl was very punctual, so she came a little earlier than the deadline. She was waiting for Sunbin when several guys approached her, offering to walk with them. But the situation was settled by the main character who came up. The hooligans were afraid of the colossal titan and using vertical maneuvering equipment hurried away from the couple. Lee Sovan was grateful to her former student because she was really scared. But the guy at that moment was worried about the image of a girl because he had never imagined that a math teacher wore such outfits before. But the guy didn't mind looking at the Hollywood Hills. The girl admitted that she had been picking up an outfit for a very long time, after which the guy took everything into his own hands literally and took Lee Sovan to a bar. The girl did not even guess that there was such a place in this area, but the guy knew a lot of similar places. Deciding to somehow diversify the silence during the long-awaited meeting, the main character said that all young boys and girls go to this place, to which the teacher objected, because she is also still in the juice. After skipping a few glasses of a drink, long-time acquaintances decided to return to the conversation that began at the studio. The guy asked if Lisa Vaughn came only because of guilt, or if she had other reasons for doing so. Sobin asked if Lee Sovan missed him, but she emptied her bottle before answering. She had no choice but to admit that she really missed him, but at the same time felt a strong sense of guilt. And when the girl found out that the guy was giving online lectures, she felt sorry several times more, because the incident that arose because of her affected his reputation, and perhaps if not for that, he could be much more popular now. Lee Sovan drank too much, so involuntarily she let out the roar of Godzilla. The guy was touched, but still he decided to ask why she decided to drink from the bottle. After sitting for some more time, the couple decided to go outside to get some air and walk around the night city a little. The girl was glad to meet, because even though several years had passed, the burden of responsibility still lay on her shoulders. The math teacher was tormented by the question of what would happen next, because she did not know if they would be able to see each other again. But the guy dispelled her doubts by saying that he studied hard, and then became a math teacher only thanks to his mentor and love for her. Subin thought that if he was good at math, it would give him extra points, but everything happened the way it happened, and it's too late to change anything. Without letting the girl answer, the guy added that he was no longer a student and had become an adult for a long time, so he invited Lee Sovan to have fun at night in the play area. The girl agreed to the offer. Before starting to study the depths, the guy decided to prepare and went to the shower, while the teacher was sitting on the bed and could not believe that she agreed to it so quickly. A sense of shame prevented her from relaxing. At the moment when the guy offered to go to the motel, the girl thought that the guy had drunk too much, but he dispelled her suspicions and said that he always liked the girl. However, Lee Sovan refused the request of the main character. Then he seemed to Sigma said that he would go to the motel without her. Realizing that his girlfriend did not stop seeing him as a student, the guy went further and further away. When the teacher realized that Subin always saw in her someone more than just a teacher, Lee Sovan caught up with the guy and agreed to just spend the night, which more than satisfied the main character. Returning to the present, the young man finished the procedures and went out in a bathrobe. Subin trained a lot to look great and feel good. Lee Sovan could not help but note this. But when she met her student in this form, the girl could not contain her embarrassment, so she hid under the blanket, although not the whole body could fit under the folded blanket. Not wanting to end on this note, the guy decided to remind his teacher for the promise she made before his expulsion. It took the girl some time to remember what it was about. The guy was very pleased with himself and wanted to get his reward as soon as possible, but the beauty wanted to throw off her obligations, saying that it was just a simple joke, but Subin did not want to listen to it. He reminded that it was a promise and promises cannot be broken. Then the girl agreed to fulfill it on the condition that everything would end there, but the cunning guy knew what to do. The girl took the initiative, but the guy corrected her and showed what he had learned during all this time. However, after the incident, he said that now this was not enough. 
and the girl was sure that he was trying to compensate for the penalty points. Subin noted that Lee Sovan herself was to blame for dragging it out for so long, with the words that he no longer intended to wait. The main character threw out the shelter, which restrained the teacher's embarrassment. The beauty realized that she could not get away, so she allowed the guy to do what he wanted without limiting his choice. The young man decided not to miss such a chance and surprised his teacher again, coping with the extra layers in a matter of moments. Subin was very thirsty, so he decided to drink holy water from the spring. The first stream was already ready, but the second one needed a little tinkering. The guy tried not to hurry, but the pleasant feeling of freshness put too much pressure on him. Until now, Lee Sovan could not understand how everything turned out like this. But after finishing with the streams, the main character decided to show how deftly he knows how to open oyster shells with his fingers. The guy who had quenched his thirst and hunger a little found new strength in himself and like Simon decided to pierce the heavens with a drill or had never been mined in that place before. So the drill went quite slowly. In order to get even more valuables, the guy tried to be careful. It was impossible that something went wrong when mining. Subin decided to show a trick because he was more experienced and knew what tricks could be done with a large drill. The girl did not consider it honest that such an experienced and handsome guy demonstrates his skills, but she was glad that she was allowed to see it so that the spectacle would be considered properly. The guy started drilling a little differently. From the abrupt start, the cave shuddered a little, but the girl tried to control herself. The guy continued to make fun of his girlfriend, even though they were engaged in a responsible business. The girl was not satisfied with the fact that he was teaching her with such a happy face because she was still older. But the guy said that the blame for this lies entirely with Lee Sovan. A new experience for the beauty to become bolder. She was no longer afraid to hold on to the drill and was even ready to work a little herself. The guy was very happy to get such a talented student. So he continued to teach her, despite the tingling. The girl was so focused on understanding everything correctly that she did not notice how the snake crawled even further into the caves. The main character continued to pray even at those moments when he drank from the source. Subin continued to work for a long time, so he managed to stumble upon something really worthwhile. He managed to drill a new source, which began to pour out with great intensity. The teacher was very happy about their personal lessons, because during them she saw a lot of interesting and amazing things. She was still shy, but she was grateful to Subin that he acted as her first mentor. Meanwhile, Taijin continued to work, selecting candidates for casting, but most of the questionnaires sent were not even worthy of consideration. He grumbled for a long time that he did not want to do it for such a small salary, but among all the papers, there was one interesting one. The girl who has been a fan of Subin since school decided to get a job with them in the company. Subin did not plan to come for an interview, so Taijin and his colleague Yujon had to evaluate a potential employee only together. The name of the same fan was Cho Hyunji, and she immediately recognized the blonde bully. The guy said that she was accepted only after seeing her. Then the girl realized that Taijin had not changed at all. As it turned out, the former classmate came not only for work, but she also expected to see Subin. But that day he had other things to do. After finishing her games, Lee Sovan went to refresh herself a little and think about what she managed to learn through a special lecture of the main character. But the guy decided not to leave the case halfway and decided to keep her company. He wanted to switch to you, but the girl was very confused. So she asked to leave everything as it was. But the guy was not satisfied with this outcome. So he decided to show how he definitely knows how to take rice balls and seafood with chopsticks. The main character, like a real gentleman, did not rush his podrozhka said that he would wait as long as it took until the girl could get used to it. Hungry, the guy decided to cook a couple of sweet pancakes. For this, he took a banana out of the refrigerator and then hit his special dough. The young man decided to add more toppings before filling everything with whipped cream. Lee Sovan also turned out to be hungry, so she was completely averse to having a sweet roll dinner. The guy's hands were strong, so none of the ingredients could jump out of them. The boy cooked so persistently that he did not notice at all how it looked from the outside, but when he finally realized his epic fail, Subin came up with how to calm the beauty and continue. The pancake turned out to be larger than it initially seemed, so it was possible to fit a whole banana there, which Gordon Ramsay took advantage of. The girl wanted to add cream herself, but the guy offered to do it together. In just a couple of moments, their common dish was ready. The taste was so stunning that the girl could not come to her senses after that for some time. After so many adventures, the couple wanted to relax a little and they settled down on the sofa, the guy admired the beauty of his girlfriend, saying that the wait was clearly worth it. Suddenly, he receives a call on his phone from Taijun, who was interviewing Cho Hyunji at that time. Subin realized that he had missed more than 20 calls from his subordinate, so he became interested in what was happening, even though he told the blonde to handle everything himself. While the guy was talking on the phone, Lee Sovan woke up and interested in the conversation came closer to the guy. 
She heard a fan say that she missed the main character. This greatly angered the teacher. She wanted to get more answers. The teacher remembered her former student, but the main character assured her that he didn't care about anything that day. The girl was pleased that the guy was spending time only with her. The next morning, the girl woke up first, so she was able to admire the sleeping main character. But the main character outplayed Lee Sovon, pretending not to sleep, so he heard all the compliments she addressed to him. He continued to make fun of her, making the girl blush but continuing to be Sigma. Subin did not miss the opportunity to make his girlfriend even more compliments. The guy pretended to be asleep because he really wanted to hide that the jackhammer was ready to work again. The girl wanted to rest a little more, but the guy insisted on continuing the excavation. The girl tried to solve the issue differently, but the young man said that since she started the tool, she should follow him. After which he grabbed two helmets and out of boredom began to toss them. Lee Sovan wanted to go freshen up again, but the guy decided not to stand on ceremony and polish the coin receiver before buying himself some soda. The girl did not want to agree, but after the first minute she admitted that she was wrong. After cleaning the device clean, the guy decided to test it by running a coin there a few more times. The guy kept score and tried not to overdo it with a trifle. When some coins stopped being read, the guy turned over the coin receiver so that it was convenient for him to send them further. The next abandoned coins entered like a knife into butter. It took quite a long time to completely fill the device, but the guy easily coped with this task by treating his girlfriend to a wonderful pineapple drink. In the morning, Cho Hyunji, upset that Subin did not show up, went home by taxi, and Tenji, who saw her off, is unhappy that his boss is missing and does not answer calls. He ran into someone at the entrance again and wanted to start being rude, when he suddenly realized that he had crossed paths with the director of the company. When he realized his mistake, he promised that it would not happen again. The girl at that time noticed that Tenchi had become a little taller, because there was no Subin with him, by the way. She asked where he was, but the guy replied that the main character had not yet come to work. Then the director told him to call Subin, and Tenchi, terrified and incredibly angry, wondered where he could be carried at such a time. Meanwhile, Lee Sovan was thinking all the time about a lecture from her student. Suddenly, her students noticed that she was watching his lessons and asked what kind of girls were in his taste. They did not argue for long, but the brunette knew that she had already been chosen. 